Want to try an easy but beyond delicious Cuban pastry filled with guava and cream cheese, but on the outside, a flaky puff pastry topped with a sprinkle of sugar? Say hello to my pastelitos de guayaba recipe. They are basically perfect and you're gonna love them. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These pastelitos will whip up in a snap. So let's get started. Are you FaceTime or not? No, not FaceTime. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what's, hi. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Hi. So I'm filming a video for YouTube right now, and I wanted you to help me with the pronunciation. Uh, yeah. So I'm making pastelitos de guayaba. Yeah. How would you say it? Oh, uh, you did it. Pastelitos de guayaba. Pastelitos de guayaba. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. Um, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna FaceTime you with the kids later today. Okay, so it's I love you. Love Bye. you, thank you. Bye. Moms have all the answers. Okay. Pastelitos de guayaba. <laughs> My security blanket's gone. I don't know if that's right anymore. <laughs> okay, so first off, what we want to do is cream that cream cheese. Mine was ice cold, so I've been keeping it in my apron like a little kangaroo. Now it's, you know, relatively room temperature, and I feel attached to it. Give this a cream. You can use a stand mixer with a paddle attachment or an electric hand mixer. Both are fine. Rough it up just a little bit. Then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt, a little bit of balance. There you go. Two teaspoons of vanilla, but let's get this moving. So on low, add two teaspoons or 10 ml of a nice vanilla extract. And now one third of a cup of powdered sugar. It's really just like slightly sweet. It's not cloying in any way, shape, or form. Okay, give this a good mix. All right, after it's creamed up, let's just scrape the bowl down just a little bit. These pastries are so easy to make, but just beyond delicious. It's kind of crazy because the individual components on their own are not transformatively amazing, but together it is perfection. I cannot wait to eat this entire batch over the course of two days, I'm not crazy. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna give it a couple more seconds. That's all it needed. This can get transferred into a piping bag and we can snip the tip off of it. But if you don't have a piping bag, just use like a plastic bag that you snip the tip off of or smear it on as well, although that can get tricky. So piping, it's much easier. Setting that aside, and now for the guava paste. We're gonna chop this up, and let me tell you, I love guavas, and I hope you do too, but when you open this up and take a little nibble of it, which I'm sure you do, it doesn't taste great. It doesn't taste like you want it to. It's like a giant mega fruit roll-up. But when you bake it, it is completely different. It melts, it's gooey, it has this amazing flavor. It's just bizarre, because I wouldn't expect it to change that much. Okay, open this up. This is like a cartoon can. Mmm, actually smells really good though. It's just the mouthfeel, like the taste is fine, but it's so jelly-like, it's really hard. Okay, this reminds me of the uh, cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. All right, so as you can see, it's really like jelly. Not like jello, but like jelly. And what we're gonna do is cut this into roughly quarter inch strips. We're not gonna use the whole container for our uh, pastelitos, but we'll be using like maybe a third of it. So we're gonna cut these strips and then just set them aside. I think this is one of those recipes where you really wanna load up on the filling. You don't want to be stingy with it because the puff pastry itself, while it has an amazing mouthfeel, doesn't have like basically any taste at all. So what you want is a ton of filling and if it's oozing out, all the better. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. I think that's all we need. We can always cut some more later. This is gonna get set aside, and now it's time for rolling out, cutting up, and assembling our pastelitos. For this recipe, I'm using store-bought puff pastry. Don't judge me, I have twins at home, and there's like no time for making a full puff pastry. If you want me to make a puff pastry video for you, though, I will do that. That I will do, but not for this recipe. Uh, sprinkle some flour onto a surface that you feel comfortable cutting on. And for your puff pastry, you should let it thaw on the counter for 45 minutes or so. This one is just unfrozen. You want it to be slightly pliable, not totally like melty falling apart, uh, fully thawed out, because there is a lot of butter in here. Unfold it, sprinkle some more flour on top. 
We do not want our rolling pin to stick. And now just roll it out a bit. We want this to be approximately an eighth of an inch. This pastry will puff up a lot, hence the name puff pastry. So you do want to like just flatten it out a bit more than you think you might need because even though you're rolling it out, it's still gonna puff and that's fine, but you wanna be able to fit something in your mouth, not like unhinging your jaw to get a pastry in there. I used to get these pastries, by the way, at this Argentinian bakery in like the next little neighborhood over from where I grew up and they are so good. You can also get these with quince and a ton of other fillings too. You can let me know in the comments if you have a favorite one that I haven't thought about yet. All right, this is close to an eighth of an inch. See that tear there? I don't care about it, it's actually fine. Okay, this is nice and ready to cut. Here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna use a pizza cutter, that's the easiest way to get nice cuts. I don't need this to be perfect, it's gonna be kind of rustic, and I'm gonna cheat at the very end, as I always do, <laughs> and just finish off the edges. So it can be a little bit rustic. Then I want this to be roughly even. If you want squares, this is not a recipe where I'm like, get a ruler out, make it perfect. It's not that recipe. Set these aside and repeat with the next sheet of puff pastry. You have two in a package normally. Ever try to be that cool person? You're like, oh, I don't care if there's a mistake. I'm taking the ruler out. You don't need it, but it, like, I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't not do it. All right, let's cut some nice lines here. They make me happy. They spark joy. Right now it's time to assemble. The only thing I want you to do is just whip up a really quick egg wash. One egg, in you go. This egg wash is just gonna give us a really like golden shiny finish, which I think every pastry should have. Just a dash of cream that's like a teaspoon or so. And now we're gonna mix, mix, mix. A lot of recipes tell you to lightly mix an egg wash and I'm like, what are you talking about? It should be thoroughly mixed because if you have ever eaten a glom of baked egg white, it's gross. It is not appealing. It's not crazy cool at all. Ugh. So we want a nice homogenous mixed up egg cream situation that's ready to brush on. Um, before we get to the assembly, by the by, have your oven set to 400 Fahrenheit. It's gonna be a really high temperature, nice quick bake. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and then lay out a grid of your beautiful, delicious, Pastelitos to be. I think each one will fit maybe six. So we'll bake this in a couple batches. Snip the tip off your piping bag. You could also use a large round tip if, if you want things to be perfect on the inside. Even though no one's gonna see it, it doesn't matter. I feel you. Now we're going to pipe that filling in. And like I said, do not be stingy with the filling. If it's all gooey, pouring out, like bah, at the end of the bake, all the better. That's what I'm here for. I don't want like dry pastry, dry pastry, dry pastry, a little bit of filling, dry pastry. That's a sad time. Pipe your filling onto each of the rectangles. Now, get that guava paste back out. Place the guava paste over the cream cheese filling. I'm leaving about a half inch border around the tart so that I can seal it together. Yeah, I want it oozing out, but I don't want it completely separated. So don't go all the way to the edge. Leave about a quarter. Mm, you don't want to say a quarter. Leave about half an inch. Okay, so my last little bit of guava paste is going on there. And I can see I was a bit overzealous. So I'm just pushing it in a little bit so I can make that seal we talked about earlier. Now, brush the edges with the egg wash. This is your glue to hold everything together. And I'm telling you that I really took this to the edge of what's possible as far as fillings go. So, I don't know, you could be a bit more conservative than me if you like. But today, I'm living on the edge, literally. So now, we're gonna lay the top on and just try and find pieces that are roughly the same size. If your pieces are a little short, you can actually just stretch them just gently. So here you go. Use your fingers just to press really lightly. One thing I do wanna say is not to let too much time pass with the pastry uncovered, because it will start to dry out and then it's just not fun. It starts cracking, it loses its, its texture and it makes everything a little bit more difficult and you want this to be a really easy, fun tart to make, basically. Although it's a pastelito and not a tart. They're like the most delicious, amazing ravioli you've ever had in your life. <laughs> 
My first batch is almost ready to go into the oven, but I would like them to look a little bit neater just because I'm me. So take a sharp knife and cut with confidence. Doing this will give you a clean edge, but it'll also really seal the edge together. That's why I only told you to press lightly earlier because this is pressing all the way in. And as an added bonus, your edge will be nice and clean and they'll be squared off just a bit more. Okay, that's done. Now, back to our egg wash. Beautiful. You wanna brush the entire surface with the egg wash. Don't try and like get the edge though. You don't wanna do that. The edge should be pretty free. So you have a couple options. One, you could bake them like this. That's fine. Or you could just score the top like I am. And the purpose of the scoring is to kind of tamp it down. So you don't want it to be ultra puffed. Sprinkle some sugar on top. I'm using turbinado sugar. If you want, you could definitely use this granulated sugar or sanding sugar as well. These are ready to go into the oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. They'll be puffed up and golden. If you see some filling oozing out, all the better. Right, in you go. Before I take a bite, if you like this recipe, check out my quick and easy playlist. Tons of quick and easy recipes that you will adore. But now, it's time for a bite. That is beyond the beyond delicious. That guava is just molten and mixed in with the cream cheese filling. And it's all wrapped in this flaky light as air puff pastry with little crunches of sugar on top. It is the best thing ever. I really hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you like my videos, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next quick and easy video.